Hey, you beautiful big heads, it's your boy Zatch, and welcome back to some more Alchemy Stars. Today's video, we are going over for Second Chandra, who is the current um, Calamity Codex. So, uh, yeah, I gotta start saying this more in videos, but I'll say it real quick. If you know what we do here, which is Alchemy Stars content, other gotcha game content, whenever I test that goddamn game, that's not this. Um, yeah, consider subscribing because we do gotcha things. <laughs> but mostly Alchemy Stars because I love this fucking game. But, anyways, yeah, let's hop on to it. So, the current. At Calamity Codex, I was about to say dream. My brain is fried. But anyways, Chandra. Um, this one is pretty simple and straightforward. She's a single target enemy, so you want to use snipers. Obviously, I'm currently 13, but that can always change. <laughs> um, I did all these runs once. I just made the teams and just ran in because that's how I usually do these. Because when I see it, like my brain usually is just like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Like that's how my brain usually does this game. It's pretty quick with the whole formulating of characters and you know whatnot but yeah i just read and i go so the special little thing on this stage is every three counts orion's active skills cooldowns are reduced by one round and every three counts of damage dealt to there will be damage dealt to the boss and how you get these counts is by activating active skills in a form of dealing damage teleporting or converting so damn near any skill pretty much will give you a count now these counts are specifically for your arena is using them so so I'm using the current team right now, right? So if I use Vice, Tina, and then Sario skills, it would be three marks for the boss themselves, so she will take damage. But as far as our Aurorians go, it would just be one per Aurorian. So said Aurorian will have to use their skill three times to get one cooldown on. So that's how that works out. Just saying, real quick. So you will be better off using characters with lower cooldowns. So you should be focusing on low cooldowns plus single target. That, that's pretty much going to be your best friend in this one, so you can get off as much damage as possible. Because alongside you, you know, constantly spamming out two to one cooldown abilities, which will then allow you to get extra damage on the boss. Because obviously every three times you do this, she will take some big damage. Then you will also, every time, three times you do on that set, set character, you would then also decrease their cooldown and then cast it additional time. So yeah, that's how it all works out. So nothing too crazy going on here. The first team focuses on Vice King Sight while also giving her the buffs in the form of Thea. So, yeah, everybody else here is just converting because we need conversion. So, yeah. But obviously, everybody here also has lower cooldowns, which will enable us to get big hits off in terms of the additional effect of past three skills do damage to boss. So, yeah. Second team here is our basic, straightforward Dark Tile team. Um, and obviously, if you have these teams, go ahead and use them because you're going to get some pretty fucking good damage out of it. But if you don't, you can mix and match them together for the most part, honestly. Because... As, like literally it's the same concept over and over again for this which is sniper up front sniper in back if you have it and then converters in the middle pretty straightforward that's why this team is like that you got a sniper in the front sniper in the back converters in the middle this team works really well because obviously with the high conversion rate of the first four characters which is show you know um virgil bethlehem and rebecca they all have high ass conversion somewhat i mean what shows is one tile but it's still conversion nonetheless which is dark tile which gives you extra benefit for the next round or at the user or time and then, you know, Virgil, Dark Tiles, so it's already great. And then Bethlehem, High Conversion, and Rebecca, Dark Tiles. So you already see how that works with the high tile count mixed with the Vix, giant fucking damage working on blue tiles. That's two guaranteed rounds of burst for Vix, so that's fucking beautiful. Going on to the next team, we have Fleur, literally converted in the middle, and another sniper at the end. That's literally what we did for all these teams. So yeah, literally the same thing again. Literally the exact same thing three times over. But obviously, the higher the cooldowns, the less damage you're going to do. That's why they seem the far back has less damage than the other two. So yeah. And I'll, and we will do a run of this just to show off on the teams. But just getting the concepts out there for y'all to understand. Now. What am I <coughs> mm. My voice didn't crack. What are you talking about? Anyways. Now let's quickly hop in. And look around real quick. Because you can see the characters we ha have already used. But if you don't have. you know, Because obviously not everybody's going to have enough for four fucking teams that are water. I'm just a scumbag who spends money. So, yeah. But anyways, so if we go to a quick formation real quick, and then we just take all these off real quick. So this is what you can do if you don't have multiple water teams. It's a tactic that, you know, I used to use before <laughs> I had to make characters. But it's pretty much pick, you know, one solid water DPS that you'll be using. So in this case, I'll just pick Connolly because she's right there at the front. And then what you can do is you can switch to another element that's, you know, neutral so we won't go with force we'll go with either fire or thunder because the boss in this case is fire so we'll switch it over to thunder and then from this point forward then you can just make the rest of the team so let's say 
you know, I'll use Chani, and then we can go down and look at, let's see, let's see, um, Beverly and Seal. And then at the very end, you would just do again another sniper. So I would go with Yuan G. And then, boom, this is a team you could use if you don't have, you know, that many water characters. And again, it's just the same concept, but now just make sure your leader is your water DPS. So that way they can still get the benefits of, well, always being able to launch the chain comes and everything, just, you know, on a different team. So you'll still get a decent amount of damage with that water sniper, just, you know, at the cost of doing neutral damage with the rest of the team. But obviously it's better than just not doing any damage on another run, right? Because, you know, every bit of, well, damage slash points will get you closer to getting the other rewards. But apart from that, let's get on back here. Let's do a run. So I'm going to do, I, I guess, this team. All right. Now, before we actually start with this run, I'm actually going to make some substitutions just to, just to try some other things because you never know, really, right? Like. It's always fun to try out other things instead of using the same team over and over again. So, honestly, we're going to take out Pia and Senna. Senna more so because he actually doesn't proc anything at all. Because he's not teleporting, converting, or doing damage. So, no, he's mostly just there for the repositioning of Tyos. Because I was like, oh, he has a low cooldown, so it's not going to hurt us too much. And he does decent damage. But, honestly, I'm going to use Miss Blanc instead. Just for a little cross conversion. And then, I guess, because I'm not really... I really ain't got no more snipers really that are leveled up, so I, I guess we're going to have to use a lore. Yeah, lore might be what we, we stop on. <laughs> Do I have any other options? No, actually, no, I'm going to try Swartz. Okay, I'm going to try Swartz. Because he does have health-based damage. So, maybe. Let's run it. Let's see how this goes. So this is, you know, a completely new run. Nothing nothing done before. Let's, 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 let's see how much damage you can get. If we get a higher score, that's great. If we don't, I mean, shit. <laughs> you know? <laughs> But let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. I'll get through her little entrance. And let's get her going. So, what should we do first? We could, I mean, well, one, cheer in the mouth. And then we will convert right here on us. And we'll do another kind of set of conversion with. And we'll stop right here, smack her in the face. That was the third one, so I did the extra damage, as you saw. Because we did three, two converts, and one damage. And then, since we're right in her face, we can do this. Okay, wait. This one, the big boom. Good thing we have a sword inside the range, and then this should give us enough. Or, yeah, it does. Alright, so if that's the case, we can do this instead. Because I don't have anybody with diagonal hits, so it's not really worth it. Shots up, it smacks off, and we're looking good. Let's use his stuff. Okay, okay. We're gonna convert. And then... This... I kind of want to stop right here, but we won't get as much. And she should... Yeah, she's gonna run away from us as long as we're in the range. So... I think it would be better to just do this. Now the only person who can hit will, will be uh, Vice, but that's fine. And we can pull this over. This doesn't count as anything. Because it does none of them, but it gives us, you know, the effect of getting our sword to do damage. We get all the way over here. The sword will allow us to get a good amount of damage off. Not looking too bad so far. So we have Vice again, so we'll shoot that out. Maybe we will move closer a little bit with Tina. I said close a little bit to Tina, no. <laughs> I'm thinking ahead, we're going to move closer with Tina on this turn. Now everybody's ready for the most part. I'm going to grab this sword from over here. Get our active skill ready again. Let's smack her in the face. One's on a blue tile. We can, we, can, we can make that work. So I don't want to go about this. We could do this first. To get behind her. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what it is. We get behind her. With extra damage. We will convert with Miss Blanc first. Then we'll do Sario. Now we have access to both swords down there. And we'll just grab all of these like this. Yeah. Alright, not, not looking too bad. We're getting some good damage off. And now I see a path for us to get our other sword. Yeah, okay, okay. Then we're going to go right here. Grab this sword and then come all the way down here. Or we could save them for next turn. You know, the red tiles. 
Because if we do it like this, yeah, use these blue ones. Everybody gets hit off, we shoot it out. And we take the red tiles and go all the way around. If you know she she moves away or closer, if you have the ring, she'll move closer to you. But she either moves away or stands still, so it's just that back and forth. And then we'll shoot her first because I almost forgot we have vices ready. Bang. And then we have more than enough tiles to get us to a 15 chain. Get all these red ones because we really can't do much with them. And actually, that's not that bad because now we can do this as well. We can get these greens of a cha. Not bad. Not bad. Also, obviously, getting the swords will allow us to, you know, get our chain combo going a lot better. Uh, let's see. Take this. All right, all right. Now we'll do this again. Strike right in the face. We'll use Vice again. Can we use this here? Uh, let's see how we look with Tina real quick. We can get there, but nah, that won't be worth it anymore. So yeah, we might as well use it right here. Then we will run up here with Tina. And we will strike her again. And we should be guaranteed which tiles will change. Because, uh, yeah, we should be pretty guaranteed because Sario doesn't change yellow. Then, we will also take this sword as well. Now we have three hits of the good stuff. And then we will just start running around. Four turns, not looking that great in terms of damage, but yeah, you never know, that could always change. Because, like, we're, we're getting closer to the range we were when we did the Fia run. But obviously, Fia just makes them take more damage overall from everybody. So, we'll see. But we got some we got some pretty good tiles for this turn. Shoot her with Vice again. Then... And think about this. Because we could use these, but that will not be enough. So we could just do this instead. Yeah, we'll do this instead. I'm trying to think about how I can do this to get sports of stuff going. How many tiles is this? One off. Oof. Well, we could use Tina. 100%. We could use Tina. 100%. But at the same time, it's not that great because there's so many yellow tiles around her. So, like, that's the only tile we can't... That's the only color we can't change. So that kind of sucks. We're going to take this to decrease our cooldown for other ability. But, I mean, we could use them right here. Because if we're over there by her, we're only changed two. I think, yeah, we'll just use it right here. Then we'll use Tina. Go in for the strike. Get the extra damage. Then I think we just take this how we got it and just, you know, get our 15 chain. Yeah, I don't think we use too many right here just for the next round. It just had to be yellow. Like, we're really close in certain terms of the same damage, and we can use Swartz the next turn, but it all comes down to what we get after we move real quick. Because, it, like, we need some more blue tiles. Okay, that's not that bad. Yeah. Uh, too right, that's not... Okay. Okay, we can make this work. Because since we saved Sario, we'll get a little bit more tiles. We are definitely going to pass the damage we had. We are definitely going to, because now we can hit her with this. Now we can change these. Ooh, if only. If only we would change the one in the corner, that would have been great. Because then we could have got another health strike. But... We'll do this, 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 and this, and that will be our run. But we got more damage, so it works out. It works out. All right, this was a better team. All about experimenting. All right, good, 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 good shit, good shit. Uh, obviously, we're going to take the one where we have the higher score. Look at the better results. <laughs> yeah, Vice, yeah, she. She carried the weight of the world on her back. Yes, she did. Man, imagine if she was level 80. That'd be nice. But yeah, alright, so there's another run, and I actually got a higher score. You know, I changed a few things around. But not bad, not bad. So, yeah, just, you know, an example. So, I hope this helps in some way, shape, or form. Per usual when I always say this stuff. But I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys, and bye bye.